Facebook has been around for about 20 years now, and in all of that time, we've only ever allowed to have one profile. Now, when I say allowed, I'm quite sure plenty of people have had a secondary profile, but when we all signed up for the first time, there would have been stipulations and conditions that said, one person, one profile only. But recently, they've made some changes where now Facebook are allowing us to have multiple profiles. That's right. Now, I haven't got my head around this at the moment yet, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing and, and how we would even utilize multiple profiles. But that's what this video is all about. We're going to explore all the questions and answers and unknowns. So grab a pen and paper, grab a coffee as we dive into the new feature of multiple Facebook profiles. <music> So here we are on my Facebook profile. Now the important word there that I've just used is profile because when we all signed up for Facebook, whether it be six months ago, six years ago, or almost 20 years ago, we start with a Facebook profile. And that is all about you, the individual, a personal profile, all about you, your families and friends. And as Facebook evolved over the years, they allowed us to create Facebook business pages, community pages, and groups and things like this. And this is my Facebook business page. Now, most people who followed me on my YouTube channel and my social media channels online are probably more familiar with this as my business page and less so my Facebook profile because that's all about myself, Mark, the individual, and you can start to see a little bit of the behind the scenes that um, you know most people who watch my videos would never see. But as you would have seen in my intro, Facebook are now allowing us to have multiple personal profiles. That's right, multiple profiles for us to have a different experience here on Facebook. And as we scroll through this blog post, it says sometimes separate is simpler. We're now making it easier to customize your experience here on Facebook with multiple personal profiles. That's right, multiples up to five personal profiles. That's what they're now, they're now allowing us to do. And some quick takeaways here, they say you can now create multiple personal profiles to organize your experience on Facebook. Think one profile for the foodie scene you love and another one to keep up with family and, and friends. Each profile will have a unique feed with relevant content and you can easily switch between profiles without having to log in or out. And then they go on to say, whether you're new to Facebook or a long time user, you may want to keep your personal and professional relationships separate, or you may want to keep one profile tied to a community um, and the other part of just for your family and friends. Creating multiple personal profiles lets you easily organize who you share with and what content you see with various parts of your life. So understanding a little bit about all of that with our personal profile and our business page, I'm not quite sure how I stand um, and feel about this in regard to you know having multiple profiles. I understand exactly what they're saying in regard to their blog article here where you can now have multiple profiles to interact with people, your family and friends differently you know, to some of your, you know, personal interests online. But is it going to make everything just more cluttered here online and um, with your Facebook newsfeed? I'm not quite sure. Go to the comments and let me know what your thoughts are initially and stick around because I am going to show you how to create a secondary or even multiple Facebook profiles as well. Now, no matter how many accounts you may set up here on um, Facebook, account integrity and being authentic authentic still applies. Your main Facebook profile must be the name you go by in everyday life. So what that means is Mark Warnkin is myself as my own Facebook profile, but they're now allowing me to create variations of this. Maybe Mark Warnkin social media or Mark Warnkin, you know, business professional or, or, or that type of thing. And of course, they then say, as always, all profiles must comply with Facebook community um, standards and guidelines as well. Now, having explained all of that, let me show you how easy it is to actually create multiple Facebook profiles as well. 
So on my Facebook profile again, we're going to go to the top right and I'm going to click on the icon of me and then up pops here. And then we're going to click on see all profiles. Now, this is a little bit confusing because at the moment, I only have the one profile, but under the profile tab, it also lists some of the pages that I manage as well. So it's a little bit confusing, but anyway, that's my own Facebook business page. This is a test page that I just use to learn things about Facebook. This is a page that I'm actually co-owner of. They need to delete me as the owner of that, so I don't see that anymore. And that's just another test page. So anyway, um, under that, you'll see click um, select profiles. And we're going to see here, create a new profile. And then this pop-up appears with this information that we've already gone through previously. So let's just click get started. And over here on the left, we need to create a profile name and a username. So let's do that. And I've selected Mark Warden Can Social Media. Now they're auto automatically suggesting a username for me of mark.warnken.social.media. Let me see if I can change that to just have it um, without the dots, that type of thing. And it has allowed me to change that to just Mark Warnken Social Media. So that all looks pretty straightforward. And that's how it would look on your page and you would then start populating it. But let's press continue. And just some information over here on the left, but let's keep continue, create profile. And it looks like we're most of the way there. They're now asking me to add a profile picture, add a cover photo, that type of thing. Um, but let's just click next. And it's asking me to add some friends, but we'll just click click next. They're asking me, do I want to join some of these community groups? We'll just click next. And they're also suggesting some people extra for me as well, but we're going to just click next as well. Uh, manage the profile settings, all pretty much straightforward. Uh, let's just click finish. And that looks pretty much about it. They're going to constantly suggest lots of things for me to do to now start um, populating my profile just like I have with my original one. But that's how simple it is to create a secondary um, profile for yourself here on Facebook. Let's click the home page and see what the news feed is like for this new brand new one. And they're going to come up with lots of auto suggestions for me to start um, you know, liking and following and commenting on as well. And if I go back to the top right where there's the icon and click on that again, see all profiles, I now have um, Social Media Mark listed as another profile. So there we go. That's how simple and easy this process is and, and the theory and thoughts behind it. Go to the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Are you going to be a fan of multiple Facebook profiles? It's something totally different. I can see some merit in it, but I'm not real sure whether you know people um, really want to have a second profile, considering some people might already have a business page and a community page as well. But anyway, go to the comments. Let me know your thoughts. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're watching it on Facebook or any of my socials, you know the drill. Give me a thumbs up and a like. Leave me a comment. Let me know where you're tuning in from around the world.